So developing a comprehensive total cost of ownership model for a hybrid cloud, I think, is key. So enterprises need to have a realistic model as to what these costs are going to be, how much they're going to pay now and into the future, and what their life is going to be like, not only the first few years, but, you know, 10 years down the line. And looking at also other architectural options to see if this is a good choice or not. In many cases, we may, may not find that hybrid cloud is going to be cost uh, optim optimistic for our uh, for our usage, that's a term, uh, we may find that putting everything on-prem or in private cloud resources uh, may be a better alternative, or either even all cloud resources, some of the other sovereign cloud environments, managed service providers, co-location providers, and avoiding some of the big three because of the costs associated with leveraging those environments, which seems to be, you know, kind of core to some of the cost overruns we're talking about in this video. So we need to implement robust governance and cost management tools for hybrid cloud environments. FinOps has to be first and foremost in terms of your thinking and how you do planning around utilization of these workloads, utilization of these services. So if you're moving into the public cloud provider, you have to have FinOps systems already in place. They can't be uh, basically layered in afterwards uh, when you get into trouble 